we finished the first all right all terms we have seen cp minus cv is equals to what we did ha show me the राइट ऑन नेक्स्ट जीरोथ लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स राइट ऑन we do not have numericals in this just a statement we have for this right write down uh, <coughs> if two system a and b if two system a and b are in if two system a and b are in thermal equilibrium if two system a and b are in thermal equilibrium with and another system c with an another system c then according to this law then according to this law a and b a and b should also be in thermal equilibrium with each other so this is zero at the zero at the zero zero at the zero so then according to this law according to this law a and b should also be in thermal equilibrium with each other or will be in thermal equilibrium with each other so basically if a in thermal equilibrium with c and b and b is also in thermal equilibrium with c thermal equilibrium and thermal equilibrium if these two are in thermal equilibrium then a and b will also be in thermal equilibrium with each other this is zero law okay the other thing you see the expression of work done work done in different different process we are going to see right so first one is isothermal expansion <coughs> isothermal expansion first of all expansion if it is given it means for expansion work done work done by the system negative or work done by the system which is negative Physics, physics, I can. I also do a negative. Expansion is work done by the system, right? So when you have isothermal process, right? So it means delta T is equals to what? Zero. Zero. Temperature constant. So from first law of thermodynamics, delta U is equals to Q plus W. Delta U is zero. So Q is equals to what we can write? Minus W, right? Q is equals to minus W. It means the heat is which is you know provided provided to the system plus Q is equals to minus W. Means the heat that you provide to the system equal amount of work has been done by the system. Okay, so minus W means what? Work done by the system. So if you have a system, and in this system if you provide Q amount of heat, 
plus q. Equal amount of work is done by the system, right? So work done is minus, by the system, so minus w is equals to plus q, which right? Then only the temperature of the system will be constant, delta t is equals to zero, right? If there is heat uh, with the system, if it is available, the heat that you are providing in, it is there in the system, so that will increase the temperature of the uh, system, right? So temperature won't be constant anymore. To keep this delta t zero or temperature constant, the amount that you provide in heat equal amount of work has been done by the system. Q is equals to minus W, right? We can also say in this isothermal process, delta H is equals to zero. Enthalpy also will be zero. Change in enthalpy will also be zero. Not that important, but just write on this. Isothermal expansion, okay? So these temperature Q is internal energy and H is enthalpy. Enthalpy, right. Enthalpy. Okay. Right? Next to write down, work done in Work done in first one is this, the second one you write down. Irreversible. Irreversible isothermal expansion. Irreversible isothermal expansion. Irreversible isothermal expansion. Again, expansion we have, so work done by the system. Irreversible means what? Pressure. P external is constant or what? P external, irreversible process. Huh? Not constant. Irreversible. Irreversible is constant. Reversible is slow process, right? So delta P pressure you decrease slightly, the piston goes up and the pressure keeps on changing. Right? Reversible process. So irreversible, P external is constant always. Okay? Irreversible, P external is constant. Two types of expansion we have. The first one is free expansion. Free expansion means like expansion in the vacuum, like when we have external pressure zero, right? So free expansion, is, again, it's not that important. Sometimes we use this term. It only means P external is zero, right? So when P external is zero, work done is what? Zero. Because like I said in the last class, work done, the general formula is what? Minus P external delta V. This is work done formula we have. We derive formula for different, different process from this formula, right? So when this P external is zero, work done will be zero, right? So free expansion work done is zero. Example of free expansion, write down expansion in vacuum. Next one, write down intermediate expansion. The second type of expansion we have, intermediate expansion. All these are irreversible. Intermediate, intermediate expansion. Intermediate expansion, write down, when the external pressure, when the external pressure, P external, is lesser than the pressure of the gas, then only the external expansion takes place, intermediate expansion, right? The piston goes up. So in this case, the work done is equals to, we can write minus P external dV, right? Integral of this, take mm -hmm. dW is equals to minus P external dV. <laughs> when you integrate this side also, what we can write? dW integral zero to w. w is equals to minus P external dV. dV is what? Initial volume suppose VI and final volume VI. Take <laughs> Now the pressure is irreversible. So this P external is what? Constant. So we can take this out of this integral sign. So the formula is what? W is equals to minus V external Vf minus Vi, which is nothing but P delta V, correct? W is equals to minus P delta V. So this formula P delta V is there for <coughs> irreversible process of this because P external is constant, right? Whatever volume you have, you just put here against this external pressure, you'll get the work done, right? Minus P delta V. Why does it matter whether or not? Uh, so, like here, you said that P external is less than P gas. Why does that matter? It's because it's that condition of expansion. If it is not less than compression, it takes place. So, but like the, the same thing holds. This one. Does yeah, in that case, all the, the, the expression will be same for work done. But since we are considering expansion, so this is the condition for expansion. Work done will be same. Like the expression will be similar. 
because it is irreversible, right? But since we have expansion, so this is the condition for expansion. That is the only. Okay. Next, write down. This is irreversible. Write down. Write down next. Work done in the third third one. Right? The second one is this. Third one. Write down. Reversible isothermal expansion. Work done in reversible isothermal expansion. Did I give you that CPCV value? Yes, CP minus CV is goes to R. Yes. That is it. Acha, one thing I forgot to tell you. So you said DU and CVDT. Ah, fine. I forgot to tell you one thing. Just this table you draw, then we'll see this derivation. Write down here gas. CV. CP is goes to what we can write? <coughs> CV plus R. And this is gamma. See, gamma is the ratio of CP by CV. And this we call it as <coughs> poison switch <coughs> gamma. But it's Yeah, in physics, here we write CP by CV. It, there in physics also, CP, CV thing. But there we have derivation of CP, CV also, degree of freedom and all. Right, so here the derivation. Huh? Uh, no, this is different. I am talking about this in heat transfer physics. There is young modulus thing, you know. Is that that is different. That is not uh, this. Okay, the lateral something is there, that I don't remember. But it is young modulus. We call it. Anyways, gas. We have three different types: monoatomic, monoatomic, like helium, neon, etc. Diatomic. H2, N2, O2, polyatomic, like P4, S8, etc. CP, CV value for this monatomic, diatomic, and polyatomic, as you should memorize, you should keep this in mind, right? CV value for monatomic gas, it is 3 by 2 R. Oh, so we derive this one. By degree of freedom, you can derive this. Okay. This will be 5 by 2 R. This is 5 by 2 R and this is 7 by 2 R. This is 3 R. 3 R and this is 4 R. The gamma value is this by this is 1.66, 1.40, and 1.33. Okay, this value you should know. Note this point that gamma is always greater than 1. Okay, this we use to understand the graph of adiabatic process and isothermal process. Okay, gamma is greater than 1. This you must remember. One more thing you see, Cp minus Cv we have done is R. Can you tell me the expression of Cp and Cv in terms of gamma and R? The expression of Cp and Cv in terms of gamma and R. The expression of Cp and Cv in terms of gamma and R. Cv at the gamma minus <coughs> What? Cv into gamma minus 1 is gamma. So gamma minus 1 is equal to R, C, R by C. Yeah. So Cv is equal to what? These two expressions. See Cp we can write gamma Cv. Right? So Cv is equal to R by? R by gamma minus 1. Gamma minus 1. And Cp is equal to what? Gamma R by? Gamma minus 1. These two expressions are also important. <coughs> CP is it CP is equals to gamma CV. CV is this. This into gamma is CP. Next you write down the third uh, process we have. Work done in reversible reversible isothermal expansion. Reversible isothermal expansion. We have a piston cylinder system, of course. <laughs> this 
this is P external and this is P gas, right? So initially, we have pressure of gas is equals to the external pressure is equals to suppose P I am assuming when there is equilibrium, okay? Okay, so work done is equals to what we can write? Work done is equals to minus P external into dV, right? <coughs> dW is this. Now when you decrease the pressure by dP amount, suppose, if the pressure is now P minus dP, you are decreasing the external pressure by dp amount, p minus dp. Then what happens? This piston goes up. This is very small value we have because the process is reversible, right? So it's very slow you have to go, right? So dp is a very small amount. So when you decrease this pressure, the piston goes up and expansion takes place, right? So in this way, what happens? There will be, there will be some uh, work done, right? Work done by the system. So what we can write, dw in this case, when you decrease the pressure, so write down, if the pressure, external pressure, if P external decreases by by a very small amount, amount dP. So work done dW is equals to minus of P external minus dP into dB. Okay. Okay. So now the work done dW is equals to we can write minus of integral P external minus dP into dB. Right. So when you multiply this dV here, it becomes minus of P external dV plus integral of dP into dV, which is almost equals to zero we can assume because this two value is very small, dP and dV both. Okay, very small, so we can assume this to be zero, dP dV term, correct? So expression of work done is what? dW is equals to minus P external into dV. Limit is what? When work done is zero, suppose the volume is Vi and when work done is W, volume is Vf, initial and final volume, right? Now, to solve this integral, we cannot take this P external out. Why? Because the process is reversible and reversible process P external is not constant. Right? So pressure we have to write in terms of volume. And that is equals to what? Minus integral nRT by V dV Vi to Vf and this is integral of dW. Can you solve this integration now? Right. So expression of work done will be what? W is equals to minus N R T L N V two by sorry V F by V I. Right. So in terms of log, what we can write? Two point three. 0.3 so we have to multiply. So minus 2.303 RT log VF by VI. Okay? This expression is for N is equals to 1. 1 more. Right? So why did you introduce the BT? So anyway it's negligible, right? But uh, if you write this expression, this will get negligible. That's what we are doing. Not required. If you don't write, also it's fine. Okay. So this is the difference of reversible and irreversible process. If it is irreversible, we can take this P external out easily, right? But here the pressure is a function of volume, right? So we have to 
write pressure in terms of function and then integrate it, right? Now the process is what? The process is isothermal, right? So temperature is constant. So for constant temperature, we can always write P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2, right? So this is volume expression you can also express in terms of pressure, okay? Suppose if I write Pi into Vi is equals to Pf into Vf, there you have Vf by Vi, so Vf by Vi is what? Pi by Pf, the so same work done expression for one mole, we can write W is equals to minus 2.303 RT log Pi divided by Pf. So whatever value is given in the question, pressure or volume, from that we can use the formula, any one of the two formulas. <coughs> Got it? <coughs>